हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इज माय फर्स्ट क्लास ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन पीरियड दिस इज द टाइम ऑफ लॉकडाउन सो स्टे इन योर होम एंड मेंटेन ऑल द रूल्स ऑफ लॉकडाउन इन प्रीवियस क्लास यू वेयर इन क्लास एट नाउ यू हैव कम इन क्लास नाइन इफ यू डोंट नो हु एम आई जस्ट यू शुड नो माई नेम इज नवीन मिश्रा and i have given the name of my class covid 19 biology why i have given this name listen because i am going to take this class during the lockdown period covid 19 since this virus comes in the contact of human being in december 2019 so it is also called covid 19 and i have or uh, i am going to take this class during this period so my class name is covid 19 biology class now listen <clears throat> just i am going to say about uh, cell first of all just i will explain what is cell and after that we will see different different types of cell which are present in this nature <clears throat> first of all what is cell cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living being or living organisms you know the building the house in which you live is made of a number of bricks so we can say brick is the unit of that building similarly our body is also made of a number of cells so we can say cell is the basic structural and functional unit of our body or all living being now <clears throat> you should know there are many scientist who played very important role in the discovery of cell in which one very popular name is robert hooke robert hooke was a british botanist so he discovered dead plant cell first of all <clears throat> when he saw a thin slice of bottle cork in the self invented microscope then he caught many room like structures were present in that thin slice of cork and he gave the term cell for that room like structure but if <clears throat> you have a question that who ex uh, who discovered the living animal cell first of all then your answer should be anton von leeuwenhoek a b leeuwenhoek means a b leeuwenhoek was the first who discovered the free living cell for example sperm cell human in human being the rbc which is present after that all the types of protozoans like amoeba paramecium etc so robert hooke discovered the dead plant cell first of all whereas whereas anton von leeuwenhoek discovered free living cell first of all now we will see about <coughs> the robert brown robert brown discovered the nucleus first of all he discovered nucleus in the cell or root cell of orchid plant root cell of orchid plant after that you know you see or you read in book that cell is made of protoplasm what is protoplasm this protoplasm is also known as protoplast so what is protoplasm and who uh, discovered this protoplasm j purkinje j purkinje was the first who discovered the semi solid structure which is present or semi liquid structure jelly like structure which is present inside the cell and he gave that jelly like uh, structure as <coughs> a protoplasm or protoplast now we will see about m sliden and t swan what is the <coughs> role of m sliden and t swan m sliden <coughs> was a german botanist he said all plants are made of cell and this one was a german zoologist he said all animals are made of cell means according to this one cell is the structural and functional unit of plant body and according to, uh, sorry according to t uh, swan cell is the structural and functional unit of animal whereas according to swan uh, sorry sliden uh, cell is the structural and functional unit of plant both gave a theory that is called cell theory simultaneously in which he said cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living being after that just i am going to 
say about Rudolf Virchow. Rudolf Virchow was a famous scientist. He gave a phrase that is omnicellular is cellular. What is the meaning of omnicellular is cellular? It is a phrase and it means all cells arise from pre-existing cell. How will you explain it? Now you should know. Zygote is made when fusion takes place between the <coughs> egg and egg which is also known as ovum and sperm means after the fusion of sperm and ovum, ovum zygote is formed zygote is a unicellular structure but we are multicellular so when the repeated mitotic cell division takes place in zygote then this single cell zygote converts into multicellular structure and from this multicellular structure our body is formed so we are seeing here all the cells which are present in our body arise from single cell zygote so we can say all cells arise from pre-existing cell and it uh, a phrase omnicellular e cellular is used for this statement now <clears throat> we will see about max schulz max schulz also was also a scientist and who gave protoplan theory according to him cell is a mass of protoplan in which nucleus is present after that starburger starburger is also a scientist was also a scientist and who said the nucleus which is present inside the cell played a very important role in the transmission of hierarchical characters from one generation to other generation so this was <coughs> these are the name of some scientists who played very important role in the discovery of cell now we will see cell is of two types in which one is called prokaryotic cell and second is called eukaryotic cell but before understanding this we will see which cell is known as the longest cell which is present in the body of human the name of that cell is nerve cell or neuron but if i ask which cell is known as the largest cell which is present in the body of human, human being then your answer should be female ovum means ovum which is present in the female body is the largest cell which is present in our body means in the body of human <clears throat> now we will see which cell is known as the smallest cell pplo its full form is pleuronemonia like organism it is also known as mycoplasma this is the smallest cell which is present in the world after that <clears throat> we will see which cell is the largest cell in the nature ostrich egg but in the case of plant ovule of cycas is known as the largest cell now <clears throat> we will see about the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell <clears throat> just i have said cell is of two types one is called prokaryotic cell and another is called eukaryotic cell prokaryotic cell <clears throat> and eukaryotic cell both are different in many places one by one just we will discuss first of all the size of prokaryotic cell is small whereas the size of size of eukaryotic cell is larger second difference in prokaryotic cell all the membrane bonded cell organelles what are cell organelles you know all the membrane bonded structures which are suspended in the cytoplasm of the cell are called cell organelles but these membrane bonded structures means cell organelles are absent in prokaryotic cell but these all the membrane bonded cell organelles like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, etc., are present in the cytoplasm of the eukaryotic cell. Third difference in prokaryotic cell, prominent nucleus is absent. It means in prokaryotic cell, nucleus is not surrounded by the nuclear membrane. Whereas in eukaryotic cell, prominent nucleus is present. It means nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear membrane. After that, in prokaryotic cell, only one chromosome is present. Chromosome, DNA and gene, all are related terms. How? Listen. <clears throat> Chromosome is made of DNA and histone protein. And a small piece of DNA is called gene. So we can say chromosome, DNA and gene, all are related. So just have said, in prokaryotic cell, only single chromo only one chromosome means single chromosome is present. Whereas in eukaryotic cell, two or more than two chromosomes are present. The chromosome which is present inside the prokaryotic cell is made of DNA only. But 
the chromosome which is present inside the eukaryotic cell is made of dna and histone protein both generally chromosome is made of dna and histone protein but the chromosome which is present inside the prokaryotic cell is made of dna only whereas the chromosome which is present inside the nucle uh, eukaryotic cell is made of dna and histone protein both after that just we will see next <clears throat> In prokaryotic cell, 70s type of ribosomes are present, whereas in eukaryotic cell, 80s type of ribosomes are present. So these are the various differences which are present in or between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. After that, <coughs> just you should know about some basic terms because without understanding that terms, you can't understand what is biology. So to understand properly what is biology, you should know about some terms. For example, cell membrane, cytoplasm, <coughs> cell organelles, nucleus, etc. etc. You should know one thing. In a cell, only three main components are present, in which one is called cell membrane, second is called nucleus, and third is called cytoplasm. So these are the three main components which are present in cell. Now, just <clears throat> I am going to explain about some basic terms just I have said sometimes before. In this first one is cell membrane. What is cell membrane? You are seeing this diagram on the board. <clears throat> you are seeing this white colored structure means boundary. This is cell membrane. <clears throat> means a membrane structure which surrounds the cell is called cell membrane. Here, this is cell membrane. This is cell membrane. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, we can say the <coughs> membrane structure which surrounds the cell is called cell membrane. <coughs> now, inside the cell, a rounded structure is present that is called nucleus. And like cell, this nucleus is also surrounded by a membrane structure that is called nuclear membrane. This structure is called nuclear membrane. The membrane structure which surrounds the nucleus is called nuclear membrane. And the membrane structure which surrounds the cell is called cell membrane. You are seeing a a space is present between nuclear membrane and cell membrane and the space which is present between nuclear membrane and cell membrane is filled with a jelly like structure that is called cytoplasm okay we can say this jelly like structure which is present between nuclear membrane and cell membrane is called cytoplasm inside the nucleus also a jelly like structure is present and this jelly like structure is called nucleoplasm and you should know Cytoplasm and nucleoplasm both are collectively known as protoplasm. <clears throat> After that, inside the nucleus, you are seeing a rounded or membranous structure. This rounded or membranous structure is called nucleolus. This nucleolus is called the factory of ribosome. Means this nucleus helps in the formation of ribosome. But ribosome is known as protein factory. Means ribosome helps in the synthesis of protein. So, ribosome is called protein factory, whereas nucleolus, which is present inside the nucleus, is called factory of ribosome. After that, <clears throat> in the cytoplasm, many membrane, membrane bonded structures are suspended, and these membrane bonded structures are called cell organelle, means mito endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, ribosome, which are seen which all you are seeing in the cytoplasm and all are collectively known as cell organelles okay so <clears throat> once again uh, just uh, since the time is about to over so just i am going to give you some ass assignment because you have to stay in your home and uh, uh, maintain the rules of lockdown so you should read you should write you should learn in your home so i am going to give some assignment first of all just first question only some questions that i will give first question is just you have to write a short note on <clears throat> the discovery of cell okay what is 
the role of different different scientists in the discovery of cell you have to write in your own okay second question <clears throat> you have to draw a well level diagram of plant cell and animal cell separately third you have to write uh, minimum three differences between uh, three differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell only three questions you have to write for today's class okay thanks